So in today's video, what we're going to go over is how to make your beats from meh and turn them into this. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to go over how to make your beats sound professional. So if you are new to making beats, you'll probably hear like quite a bit of difference between you and like the top producers like Nick Mira and people like that. I know when I first started, I like didn't know what was missing, what was like the difference between mine and theirs. So in this video, I'm going to go over the things that I wish I did from the beginning and basically tell you the things you should be focusing on to take your beats to the next level. So yeah, so we're going to go through a few things. I think I wrote down like three things or something so yeah so hopefully by the end of this video your beats will be a lot better right so we have a pretty basic beat here it still sounds pretty good Right, so that is what we got for the beat. So as you can hear, it sort of lacked a lot of stuff. When that beat came in, it didn't really like hit too hard or anything like that. Just sort of like walked in. And we don't want that. We want the beat sort of like kicking down the door. So the first thing on my list is getting that kick and the 808 to actually hit properly. So where I'd always start would be to find an 808 and a kick that actually match. Meaning that if your 808 is taking up this frequency down here, then you don't want your kick also to be right there because then they're just gonna like not really get on properly. So the main thing I'd focus on is sound selection first of all. A lot of the times you can just find an 808 and a kick that do actually match. But if they don't, you can just sort of like make some peaks down here from where the kick is. So you're sort of leaving that space for the kick. So as you can hear, that 808 is far overshadowing that kick. So in this instance, the 808 is not actually the issue, but it's the kick. So literally all we're going to do is just pull this kick up a little bit. So now that kicks on top of the 808 so that so that when it does actually come in, the kick will be a lot more prominent, which in a lot of beats, everyone wants like a hard kick coming in. So now we're going to just see what that's like. So that's already sounding a little better. So the main thing to take away from that was just make sure that your kick is actually on top of everything. Now we're actually going to get into making the beat a little better because the beat just sort of not that good. So the first thing we're going to add is vocal chops. So if you've watched any of my videos before, I absolutely love vocal chops. And the best way to get vocal chops typically is using Arcade, which looks like this. So this is actually a paid subscription thing, but this is definitely worth it just for the vocal chops, to be honest. That's more or less all I use. So if we just solo this guitar sample. So that is a really cool sample. So it's got some like punk and like rock vibes. As like a full song, it's not really gonna have enough elements in it to be able to sort of like progress into like a chorus and things like that. So for this, we're gonna add this vocal chop basically. So we've got the key for it here. So it's in D major. So we already know that that's the key. So yeah, so we're just gonna try and find like a nice vocal chop to sort of go onto it. And we've got that sort of for a chorus and a build up. So this might take a while. These sort of sound like some off-light halo. Yeah. Right, okay, so I think I've got something, so... So, that's a good start for that. So, I do feel like we need to sort of fill this bit. Duh, duh. Like, something like that. Yep, there we go. Right, so as you can hear, that is a lot better. It's gone from like being this bear. It's like actually having something. So now we've got this sort of like progression into something. So 
So as you can hear, we are starting to get the sound of like a more fleshed out beat. So we got that for sort of the bridge and the chorus, and then we're gonna have everything uh, drop out. So this is gonna be the chorus bit. So now when we go to the verse, we've got we've got this. So yeah, so now we can sort of level it up again, and this is where we get into transitions. So no joke, transitions is probably one of the biggest things I've realized in my years of like producing. Transitions make a huge, huge impact. So we're just gonna get a few in now. So these are the selection that pretty much I use. So for this bridge bit, we're gonna start with this riser and this click noise. And then we're also gonna use another riser for when it comes into the chorus. So that makes all the difference, especially when you're coming into that first chorus bit. That initial sweep riser just makes it hit a million times harder. So then you want some sort of swipe transition like this one. I use this one a few times in the beat and we're just gonna use it to sort of break up between the bridge and the chorus. And then once again, we have the bridge. So I've cut out a little bit here and then just added that riser once again. So yeah, so that was just going over some of these transitions. So I think these make an absolute huge impact on your beat. So without the transitions, this bit's just gonna sound like this. That's just, it's just not as good. In addition to some transitions, I've also added these hi-hats. So uh, instead of having like two-step hi-hat, so I added these rolls, this one here being the most important. And then these ones are just like little bits of like sprinkle on top. So the last thing I added was this sub bass. They're really good for like these beginning sections of beats. You've probably heard them in quite a lot of songs. If you don't have a VST with any good sub samples in them, I just say go to Reddit and just type in sub sample and you're gonna get a lot of subs on there. All we did is copy this 808 pattern down here. So we've got the same 808 pattern. Yeah, so this has just been a few things that uh, sort of I picked up on while making beats and what sort of differentiates simple beats from like more fleshed out beats. Do all these things and your beats will be better. All right guys, so that's been the video. So it's got a bit dark in here now. I've got this light going on and this one. This has been the video. Hopefully this helped a little bit. Um, follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.